Mama wants to show you a little bit of her makeup that she's wearing. Um, I did a little trap for Mommy. You did a trap for me? Is that why you're smiling? What's the trap? I'm not telling you. What's the trap? Nothing. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> What's your <right? laughs> So I wanted to show you what was the trap. I think Ella. Hold on. I think Ella has laid down a trap for me. Oh! I can't you. Hello, everyone. Guys, um, today I have. Oh, I'm not watching. I'm, not I'm gonna get my other mask. Hold on, guys. Okay, I need it. Uh. Hi, guys. Today I have two of these. Whoever picks this button after this video. I, I, I'm gonna pick a random subscriber and I'll be giving away this. Ah! <laughs> I'll get you. I'm back with him. And if you haven't noticed, I made this for my room. It's my air dry clay crystal horse, Luna. Hi! Hi, my brick wall. I, now I'm going to be building my house. So, guys, if you haven't knew, I um, ordered ah, this. She's so cute. She comes with a mask and a tail, and I don't know where it is in my house. I have no idea where it is, but somewhere in my Lego box. Hold on, guys. Okay, I got my door piece. Just get on. Mama, do you want to? Talk to our subscribe, um, subscribers. <laughs> Honestly, this kind of feels a little weird to me. It's been a while. Wow. Um. So as you guys know, as of right now, I came back with kind of like a coming back vlog, and um, I basically took almost a full year off of vlogging unintentionally, and I'm just sort of trying to get back into the groove of things um don't mind the mess behind me we have so much to catch up on guys but today um i'm making cupcakes because my son hunter is gonna be a year old oh my god so i'm making cupcakes for we're doing just like a family dinner tomorrow because with covid and everything i didn't want to do like a big party like I did with Ella's first birthday um so we're doing it with like immediate family that we see all the time we're just doing cupcakes pizza um I have to pick up balloons tomorrow before we go over and everything so we're keeping it really simple but um I didn't want to not vlog this like this is my son's first birthday you know um, so yeah, right now I'm making some cupcakes. Uh, honestly, Ella's first birthday party, her theme was like pretty in pink. Everything was pink. So I figured I would do the same with Hunter. Just everything is kind of blue. Um, because I found when you use themes with kids when they're so young, like one, two, three, um, some at least in my own personal experience i found that i wanted to use the themes again later in like my daughter's life like you know we used it maybe like too early or something so i didn't really necessarily want to go with like a theme except for just like 
you're one <laughs> kind of kind of thing um and we're just doing cupcakes instead of like a smash cake just really casual you know celebration with the family so i wanted to just bring you guys along for it um everything i pretty much got at hobby lobby so i picked up these cupcake liners they're just blue plaid cupcake liners i am lining my tin currently i'm just doing some uh confetti funfetti funfetti cake mix that i've already pre-mixed um and then these are little the little cupcake toppers i'll show you guys when it's all done i have some piping bags i have some vanilla frosting i have food dye at food dye because i wanted to do like a blue and white frost like a, a mark you know what you know what i'm talking about on top of the cupcakes but i also i picked up a couple plates mr one what does that mean oh mr wonderful <laughs> um just some blue pom-poms we have a uh, happy birthday banner uh the food coloring for the frosting some candles and so what is this confetti to decorate the dining room table and then just some napkins and like i said it's immediate family so there's like six possibly seven of us uh all together so i didn't go crazy i did grab these little blue buckets too um but honestly because i was thinking like snacks but I don't know i don't i don't really i on i forgot to like grab stuff for these so maybe i still have stuff in the house i don't know i was just thinking birthday party i usually have like little tins of snacks around i don't know if i'm gonna end up using them but i figured i could use them for something else like the kids uh crafts or whatnot so but yeah so that's what i'm doing right now i'm going to get these cupcakes baked off oh i also have these sprinkles as well that i'm gonna decorate they have these are like little blue bottles phone definitely just died my apologies it's been a while but all i did uh was go ahead and separate the batter into the cupcake liners i have a little bit left over so when these are baked i'll be able to make like a couple more i i'm not again i'm not trying to make a ton i'm not trying to have like a ton left over but i'm gonna go ahead and mix up the frosting now um so what i'm gonna do i just got basic vanilla frosting and to be honest I kind of hope one is enough because I didn't consider if it's not enough. We're just gonna, we're going with it, guys. Oh my God. Let's get a, oh my gosh. Oh, I also forgot to mention tomorrow. Okay, okay. Tomorrow's a whole different thing. Tomorrow, we're gonna be celebrating his birthday. Now keep in mind, tomorrow is a Wednesday. His birthday is not until Friday. Friday so you guys will see in maybe next vlog or something it actually be his birthday so don't get confused with that but tomorrow besides celebrating my son's birthday something also is happening in the morning we'll talk about that in the morning let's just get these cupcakes mixed up so I'm going to use just a little bowl here I love these little suction bowls um, I always use this for Hunter's food. Oh my gosh, he's been eating so much. We've been introducing like normal foods to him, like everyday food. That boy eats everything. There's like not a thing that I've given him that he hasn't liked, which is fantastic. Cause I learned my lesson with Ella where I didn't really introduce a whole lot to her and now she's super picky. So I learned my lesson with that, but that is, that's a whole different conversation. So I took half of the frosting. Can we just take this in the living room? <laughs> and I am going to add, mm. oh my God. Mm. Oh. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add, again, a little bit of blue food coloring. So I want white and I want blue. I don't know how much to add. This is like a gel frosting, uh, uh, food coloring. I don't know if that was a lot. We're just gonna mix it up and find out. Oh my gosh, it almost like matches the bowl color perfectly. Oh, that is pretty. All right, let me get this mixed up in the piping bag, get these cupcakes baked, and then I'll bring you back. 
cupcakes are going in. We're gonna start with about 20 minutes and see what they look like from there. Also went ahead and prepped the piping bag. These are awesome. I found these at Walmart. They were like pre-bagged piping thing. Honestly, I don't make a lot of stuff, so this was perfect. Um, but I made the blue and the white frosting. Okay, so I got all my cupcakes now done. Now I did run out of frosting, but honestly, I have more than enough cupcakes. Um, I have six over here that are not frosted, but I do have some chocolate frosting I can just throw on and uh, keep in the house. Obviously, <laughs> these three are a little more cooked than those, it, whatever. Anyways, these are the cupcakes. Here's two of them. I was doing the sprinkles over a plate so I didn't make a huge mess, but there's all the sprinkles. So we have like the blue um, bottles. We have little sharks. So whales, I don't know, here's here's one of the sprinkles. It's Candy Fetty Shark Fun. And then I used this one from Walmart, which half of it is the blue bottles. Is it Walmart? Uh, yeah, it is Walmart. For some reason I thought it was Hobby Lobby, but no, this was Walmart. And then the other half is just sprinkles. So I'm really excited that I got those done because I have so much to pack tonight and get ready for tomorrow. So at least I can um, go ahead and wrap these up and not worry about them. I will pick up the balloons and pizza and stuff tomorrow. Oh my goodness, stuff is falling off. Get on there oh my goodness my son is almost one. <gasps> oh my gosh okay so you mentioned yesterday oh my god i mentioned yesterday that something was like gonna happen today with hunter and i apologize that like i didn't start recording earlier this morning has been so hectic my i slept through my first like three alarms um my clock on my stove was like 12 minutes early for some reason so by the time that it was time to go I had to go but today is Hunter's first day of daycare and I'm still oh, like I, I kind of want to throw up um it's tough because Ella my firstborn she never went to daycare because things were different. I didn't work full time. Um, I was a stay at home mom. So I just focused on her and the way that she interacted with kids is that I would just bring her to play places all the time. This was years ago, way before COVID, you know, so I would bring her to play places. So she'd play with kids her age and stuff with Hunter. It's different. I have to work full time now. Um, and I needed, I needed a babysitter, you know, and it's, oh, it's so heartbreaking just watching her walk away with him and like, you're not, you get a tour of the place after hours, but like parents aren't allowed in there, obviously precautions for the kids and whatnot, but it's like, it was just so sad to like watch him being carried away and I'm like, oh my baby, like I, I know he's totally fine, I know he's gonna play with other babies and I can't help it though. Like, oh my god, it's gonna be a year. Like today, we're celebrating Ken's birthday, as I mentioned yesterday too. So you're gonna see that a little bit later. But it's like you're gonna be a year this Friday, and you just started daycare, and I just, oh my gosh, I can't even. I'm trying not to cry because I've done my foundation, concealer, and powder, and that's all I was able to get done this morning. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go home, finish getting ready, but. It, oh, my baby <laughs> i can't help it i get so choked up about this kind of stuff it's never been easy oh my gosh if you guys were with me um last year when ella well, technically two years ago when ella started kindergarten i was a mess the first day and obviously daycare is different than like school school but it still hits you in the feels you know what i'm saying oh my god my baby so I will see how he's doing. I will go pick him up after Ella gets off the bus later this afternoon. He only goes Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays though. So it's not like a Monday through Friday kind of thing. Um, but he, yeah, it, mm, <laughs> that's, mm. <laughs> Hey, bud. <laughs> 
Or he's not average. <laughs> Hey Brody and Bella. Those are vegetables. What are those? Carrots. Carrots and apples and brushes. This is a mitten glove. Mitten. Where's that? Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Annie. Hi. <laughs> and then we have. Shove it right oh, in yeah, there. Yeah. 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 I think both of the kids were completely 
exhausted you can't really there we go hunter passed right out ella passed right out um but we got a few things he got a few things for his birthday um no we're gonna give i'm gonna give him like the presents that i got him um on friday so two days from now but he got this a little like what's it called construction deluxe deluxe um ride on and i i also brought the balloons home because I wanted to put them outside. Um, and then here, I got Ella's snow pants, but uh, I brought the banner home. He got, um, this is a card from my brother and uh, Amber. I also got a card from a family friend who I don't think has ever been on my channel, um, but she's the one that got us the rideable thing. And then we just have a bunch of clothes down here. Now, some of this stuff is um, bigger, so he won't be able to wear it for a little while. Uh, this is actually, <laughs> these are dirty. These, I gave him a bath at my mom's who we were just at. Um, but these are all new clothes. So he has a couple sweatshirts in here. Like, um, there's a fox sweatshirt, the camo sweatshirt, the plaid shirt, and then it looks like one or yeah just one pair of jeans so again these are all um on the bigger size so we'll definitely hang on to these